corridor. The LAPSSET corridor is a multi-billion dollar project. This is the first time that I hear about this corridor. First time. That aims to develop a new transport corridor linking the port of Lamu in Kenya with Ethiopia. You guys didn't tell me this is happening. I feel I feel scammed. I feel like we need shares. How did you not tell me there's a corridor that's being created between Ethiopia and Lamu? Like what? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Queen Desta and this is Desta React and I'm happy to be back for a sit down kind of reaction. Now, recently I was chit chatting with a very cool Ethiopian friend of mine and was telling me of how Ethiopia has changed because of the mega projects that have been going on in this beautiful, amazing country. Now, if you don't know, Desta is an Ethiopian word that means happiness. I just thought I should throw that in there and therefore please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as you continue watching this. Also, comment in the comment section down below where are you watching from and if you also have suggestions of other videos that you would want me to react to, I'm going to leave a form in the description box that you can check out and you'll be seeing me react to it pretty soon so before we get into it this channel is all about the black people from different places of the world and we are happy to create a space where we can sing about our unity without further ado let's get into the reaction of ethiopia how ethiopia is overtaking all east african countries with these 13 new constructions you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Top ongoing mega projects in Ethiopia. This is Ethiopia, one of the fastest growing economies in Africa. And it's no surprise that the country is home to some of the continent's most ambitious mega projects. In this video, we'll take a look at the top mega projects in Ethiopia and we'll discuss what they mean for the country's future. Okay. Before we start, it should be noted that some of these projects are currently underway while some are already completed or are almost completed. Now let's get started. Number 13. Hawassa Industrial Park. The but the last time I was there, the Hawassa Industrial Park, I think was under construction. Okay. So it's like completely, I think, I think there was even a portion of it that was already ongoing, if I'm not wrong. Hawassa Industrial Park is a business park located in Hawassa, Ethiopia. The park, which will have a capacity of 500 hectares, is anticipated to be completed shortly. 50,000 jobs are planned to be created by the Hawassa Industrial Park. Textiles, leather, and food processing will be among the businesses housed in the park. The Ethiopian government's ambition to industrialize the country and create jobs includes the Hawassa Industrial Park. Number 12. Add us a before we do number 12, I, I know if you're an Ethiopian, you're highly tempted to type down there about, you know, political concepts on things that are not happening right, things that are not happening according to how, well, one, you expect to be happening. But here, we're just here to appreciate those that are doing well. Yeah, as well as at least there's still a focus on creating business opportunities for people, which is a bonus. Baba Djibouti Railway. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway is... But this already was there. I have actually used the Djibouti, uh, Addis Ababa Djibouti Highway, Railway. Yeah, Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. While I was heading to Djibouti, you can check that video out in my main channel, Queen Desta. This is already running and I really appreciate the fact that it is a fast train that is intercrossing between two countries. Fantastic. Uh, we, I've tried another train that intercrosses another country, but that's a slow train. So to experience a fast train, not the fastest, but a fast train, amazing. 756 kilometer long electrified standard gauge railway that connects Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital, with the coastal city of Djibouti. The railway, which opened in January 2018, is Africa's first electrified railway. The railway has had a considerable economic influence in Ethiopia. It has decreased the cost of carrying products and people, as well as boosting tourism. The railway is also projected to provide jobs and contribute to the development of Ethiopia's manufacturing sector. Number 11. I did have a chit chat with someone that was working at the Ethiopian railway. And sadly, I was expecting, you know, like this is a dream job, like how you also want to be like an air hostess and stuff like this. And sadly to say that, well, we are grateful that they have a job, but unfortunately they are not necessarily paid as much. 
uh, and I hope that can be looked into. The other thing, I look forward to a time that Africa will have so many interconnecting trains so that it can enhance how we go from one place to another and even one time when we are now finally on the same page when it comes to trading you know that we really we really take africa to another level kombolcha industrial park the kombolcha industrial park Kambolcha. is an industrial park in kombolcha ethiopia the park is expected to be completed soon and will have a capacity of 500 hectares the kombolcha industrial park is expected to create 50,000 jobs the park is located in the Oromia region of Ethiopia, about 250 kilometers north. Okay, that's good because the first thing I wanted to ask is, guys, where is Kombolcha? But it's said in the Oromia region. About 250 kilometers north of Addis Ababa. The park is being developed by the Ethiopian Industrial Parks Development Corporation, EIP. Woo! Tell me why I'm happy because it is an Ethiopian company that is putting together this industrial park and like in some places that we've had of other countries that we don't even want to mention our nationalities. Yeah, so I'm happy to hear it's an Ethiopian based company. You see, the park is expected to attract a variety of industries, including textile, garment, leather and food processing. Number 10. Tech is hydroelectric power plant. Mm. The tech is a high you know one fun fact I found about Ethiopia is to know that they actually produce electricity that is even imported into Kenya. I found that to be very mind-blowing and the fact that there is another ongoing hydroelectric power plant. Hydroelectric power plant is an Ethiopian hydroelectric dam on the Tekiz River. The dam, which would have a capacity of 3,000 megawatts, is projected to be finished in 2024. The Tekiza hydroelectric power plant is predicted to have a substantial economic impact in Ethiopia. Mm. It will generate power for both local and export purposes, as well as serve to enhance tourism. The dam is also projected to provide jobs and contribute to the development of Ethiopia's agriculture sector. Number nine. The Ambella Sugar Factory. Okay. The Ambella Sugar Mill is in Ethiopia. In Gambella. So, uh... It's good to know and to see that these projects are actually happening within the whole of Ethiopia and not just at Disababa. You know, like we come from Oromia, we were in Hawassa, now we are in Gambela, we were in Disababa. Interesting. Sugar mill. The facility, which will have a capacity of 2,500 tons of sugar per day, is anticipated to be finished shortly. The Gambela Sugar Factory is predicted to have a large economic impact in Ethiopia. It will produce income for the government while also creating jobs and increasing agricultural productivity. The facility is also intended to contribute to the development of the Gambela area, which is one of Ethiopia's poorest. Number 8. Deber Burhan Industrial Park. Mm -hmm. Deber Burhan Industrial Park is a business park located in Deber Burhan, Ethiopia. The park, which will have a capacity of 500 hectares, is anticipated to be completed shortly. 50,000 jobs are planned to be created by the Deber Burhan Industrial Park. Textiles, leather, and food processing will be among the businesses housed in the park. The Deber Burhan Industrial Park is part of the Ethiopian government's goal to industrialize and create jobs in the country. Number 7. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. The Grand Ethiopia. I think by 2022 or 2023, this already was somewhere, I think, about to be launched, if I'm not wrong. The Renaissance Project is a hydroelectric project on Ethiopia's Blue Nav River. The dam is Africa's largest hydroelectric project, and it was just recently built. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is a contentious undertaking. Egypt and Sudan have also expressed opposition to the project claiming that it will restrict the quantity of water flowing into their nations. Ethiopia, on the other hand, has stated that the project is vital to address the country's expanding energy demands. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is expected to have a significant impact on Ethiopia's economy. It will generate electricity for domestic use and for export, and it will also help to boost tourism. The dam is also expected to create jobs and to help to develop Ethiopia's agricultural sector. In one of the things that I wish it was just very easy to do or possible to do, I would really like to go and see this dam, the rain sands dam. The rain sands dam. The rain sands dam. 
it's a grand Ethiopia dam, let's call it that, just to be fascinated by how massive, because on the videos you see how massive it is, and also you hear about the discussion that on go on also the effect it might have and stuff like this, and I can't, I, I, let me just speak it out to the universe, maybe someone who works there is like, okay, I can connect you to this, and then you're able to come and visit, but yeah, it, would, it would really be amazing. Bahar Dar Airport. The Bahar Dar there was no airport in Baghdad. Unless you, there's not, there is an airport in Baghdad. Unless, unless it's being made bigger. But anyway, I, I'm appreciating this list and these projects because they address different needs that people do have. It's not just a focus on improving transportation. There is focus to improve um, energy. There is focus to improve opportunities there is focus to create more labor chances you know yeah it's it's interesting to watch as an east african i'm happy to witness this ethiopia growth airport is located in the ethiopian town of Bahardar. the airport is undergoing a massive expansion which should be finished shortly okay expansion yeah because there's no way but that didn't have an airport okay expansion got it the upgraded airport will be able to handle two million passengers per year a new terminal building, a new runway, and a new taxiway are all part of the development. Even if you mention or don't mention, I also know at the Sababa Bola International Airport, it's also ongoing with, you'd say, growth or creation of expansion and stuff like this. Because compared to how I last saw it and how, like, the last two times that I saw it, it has really grown. Yeah. The Bahar Dar Airport serves as a significant entrance to the attractive tourist resort of Lake Tana. Number five. Woldia Industrial Park. The Woldia Industrial Park is a business park located in Woldia, Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. The park, which will have a capacity of 1,000 hectares, is anticipated to be completed shortly. The Woldia Industrial Park will provide 100,000 employment. Textiles, leather, and food processing will be among the businesses housed in the park. Woldia Industrial Park is a component of Ethiopia's government's effort to industrialize the country and create jobs. Number four. Addis Ababa Light Rail Transit. Oh, electric fast rail. Light rail. Okay. The Addis Ababa Light Rail Transit is an Ethiopian light rail system. The system is 34.5 kilometers long with 16 stops. The Addis Ababa Light Rail Transit, Ethiopia's first light rail system, was launched in September 2015. Mm. The AALRT has had a considerable influence on the transportation system in Addis Ababa. It has decreased traffic congestion and made getting around the city simpler. The Addis Ababa Light Rail Transit system is also anticipated to enhance tourism. Number three. Mikkel Industrial Park. The Mikkel Mikkel. Industrial Park is a business park located in Mikkel, Ethiopia. The park, which will have a capacity of 500 hectares, is anticipated to be completed shortly. 50,000 jobs are planned to be created by the Mikkel Industrial Park. Textiles, leather, and food processing will be among the businesses housed in the park. The Mikkel Industrial Park is part of the Ethiopian government's aim to industrialize and create jobs in the country. Number two. Lama Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport, LAPSATT Corridor. The LAPSSET corridor is a multi-billion dollar project. This is the first time that I hear about this corridor. First time. That aims to develop a new transport corridor linking the port of Lamu in Kenya with Ethiopia. You guys didn't tell me this is happening. I feel... I feel scammed. I feel like we need shares. How did you not tell me there's a corridor that's being created between Ethiopia and Lamu? Like, what? I didn't have to know this from a YouTube. You should just have told me directly. Is this actually true? I'm keen to know where, you know, like, crazy, interesting. Okay. The corridor includes a new port, a railway, a highway, and an oil pipeline. It cost $34 billion and is scheduled to be completed in 2030. The LAPSSET corridor is expected to boost economic development in Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan. Number one. Janel Dala IOAI Hydroelectric Power Plant. The Janel Dala okay. IOAI Hydroelectric Power Plant is an Ethiopian hydroelectric dam on the Janel Dala River. 
The dam, which would have a capacity of 5,200 megawatts, is projected to be finished in 2024. The Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation is in charge of the project's development. The dam is planned to provide enough power to power 10 million households. These projects are just a few examples of the incredible things that are happening in this country. If you're so I, I have decided, you know what, less because I was waiting that in this list you're going to talk about even like the less latest developments that I've been told by local Ethiopians that are happening in Addis Ababa expansion of roads and stuff like this. Uh, and I'm like, let's hear what Ethiopians are saying in the comment section down below. And someone says mistake with all kind of exclamation marks. Kombolecha is not in Oromia region, please correct. Then educate us where is this region. All of this you have mentioned don't exist in Ethiopia. Keep yourself from informed false information. Is this true? None of this, ex well, I think some do, like the industrial park, but I feel like also in this list, there's things that have already been constructed. Mm -hmm. Someone is just being like, the capital of Ethiopia is not Addis Ababa, it is called Addis Ababa. Ababa means flower, but Ababa has no meaning, just saying, ah, well... Well, I don't know from where you get the reports. Most of the projects are not there. Really? This is the government propaganda by AI lady talking. It's not even a real people talking. Wow, to whom this may concern, where or who can I contact to submit? Okay, 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 okay. Fake news, the people of Addis Ababa are trapped in the city because the surrounding area is dangerous. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, 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 calm down, calm down. Let me know as an Ethiopian, do you think these things are true? Or do you think this is just an AI research kind of content? And on places that I'm able to go and witness if these things are true, or in places that I'm able to go and visit, I definitely will come back and tell you, yeah, this exists. For example, I can stand and say, I have seen the industrial park, Hawasa industrial park, but I cannot, I have not seen how extensive it is, but I can for sure, tell you that i've been in house and seen the industrial park anyway as i said earlier there's still many other discussions that can be had but just knowing also what our neighboring countries are doing is always empowering i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll be in the comment section hearing what you have to say until the next one bye for now